Hey, Tarma, get up. It's mission time. Uh, 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 good morning, Commander. Uh, what? Mission time? Ah, it's probably just another case of bad intel. Morton's goons can't be this close by. How can you say that after seeing such a thing? We've been made! They've opened fire on us! Talk about trigger happy! Contact HQ. Request immediate backup. It, it's no good. We're being jammed. I can't get through. Then I guess it's all up to us. What? Holy! It seems like we somehow got hit. Nuts! Hang in there. You've got to stabilize this burn. It's no good. The pilot's been hit. Tarma, take the controls. Bring us down in that open space. I'm on it. I'm gonna make my own little surprise attack on Morden's forces. After you set me down, return to HQ and bring me some backup. You're going it alone? If we both go back to HQ, it'll give them time to regroup. Understood. Don't die on me, Commander. That's up to you. Now hurry! You got it, boss. You and I are getting blasted after this, and I'm not talking about artillery practice. This village looks like it could use some thorough recon. Major Rossi, do you copy? Major Rossi! Marco here. The comlink reception isn't any better. It looks like Morden's jamming devices are still working. Major Rossi, return to Army HQ immediately! Can't you hear me? Marco here! I told you I need to destroy all of Morden's jamming devices! Send backup right now! HQ is under attack by Morden's forces! Morden's forces? Situation critical. We need immediate backup. Morden's goons are doing what? I repeat, situation critical. Return to base immediately. Hey, respond! Hey! Oh, nuts! Just what's going on? Major Rossi, are you okay? I just got back. Just what's going on here? Report. Yes, sir. Morden's forces pounced out of nowhere and wiped us out. Our forces have all presumably... Presumably what? Presumably been annihilated. Our government forces have practically been decimated. Impossible. 
How could we have failed to sense such a large movement of Morden's forces? I don't know, sir. We weren't able to sense them until they were right on top of us. When our sensors finally picked them, it was already... Where's Tarma? And Sparrows, Aerie, and Theo? With those three at HQ, you still couldn't fend them off? They did intercept Morden's soldiers, but we lost contact with them and they're missing. Major Rossi! Does this still work? Yes, sir. Then I'll take it. I'm going to pursue Morton's soldiers. I want you to rescue the hostages. Yes, sir. Major Rossi! It's me! Oh, oh! Strategic Intel Agency's Materials Squad! Oh. Ow, ouch! Corporal Rumi Aikawa, it seems you're okay. Major? What are you talking about? I was in quite a jam! Okay, okay, lighten up. Lighten up? Morden's on top of us all of a sudden, our HQ is in tatters, and I get no response when calling for backup. I was in the middle of eating for crying out loud. That explosion scared me senseless, my meal went flying, and the dining hall lady. Okay, I get the picture. Do we have any other backup? Of course. I can always attack with my transport helicopter. And the SV Project Lab that produces slugs is still safe. Oh yeah, those lab geeks told me a great job. Yeah, okay. So can we get our hands on some slugs? Uh, yes sir. But with HQ gone, we don't have any data on them. So, if you get your hands on any usable parts, hold on to them. Then first I have to get the slug I left on the highway to the east. Understood. And then we need to get some intel. Anything at all, got it? I need info on Morton's forces. Then regroup the remaining squads, okay? Aw, oh, Major. Such an emotional reunion. And all you do is give me orders? How about a little tenderness for a babe in arm? Did you get my orders? Yes, sir. So get on it, Corporal Aikawa. Yes. Here, too? There sure are a lot for the rear. How in blazes do they organize such a force? Aikawa here, Major. Do you read me? Marco here. What do you have for me? Okay. First, I discovered that Sermay Agma Enterprises seems to be assisting in the funding of Morden's forces. Agma Enterprises? I seem to recall hearing of that company. Sermay Agma Enterprises is a very profitable company that's been at the top of the stock market for the past 10 years. It's not too well known among the general public. Their technology is used in everything from laundry soap to space development. That would account for their unlimited wealth. Hmm, interesting. That sounds like more than enough financial power to fund a new army for more than Yes, sir. And Ogma's collaboration doesn't end with finances. Ogma's the primary provider of weapon development for Warden's army. There's no doubt about that. Well, if you say they're in cahoots, that follows. Looks like another troublesome bunch is allied with Morden. Hey, Major, why do you suppose they're helping Morden? Beats me. Monopolization of the market under a Morden regime, perhaps? Entree into the field of weapons development, or maybe they just agree with their politics. But what's that got to do with us? Our mission is to put an end to the spoiler of world peace, Morden, and then wipe out his collaborator, Sir May Agma. Yes, sir. But first, we gotta break through this town. Aikawa, can you drop off a slug at my coordinates? I've got to secure a suitable perimeter first. Let me annihilate the Morden forces in your area. Roger. So this is... the mine. 
escaping into a place like this. Those Morton scum are hiding something. Aikawa here. I've got some nasty intel on Morton's weapon. Nasty intel, you say? Yep. According to analysis at the lab, the technology used in Morton's weapon are 50 years ahead of current technology. Sheesh, those eggheads must be exaggerating. Huh? I'm just saying, Ogma's technology has exceeded my predictions. Seems they've been keeping their cutting-edge technology under wraps. They're just using it for Morton's forces. Are you sure about that? Actually, the slugs we've been using have higher capabilities than those we've released to the public. If that's all you've got, I'm signing off. Oh, wait, I've got something else. Proceed. You do know you can actually develop and customize slugs before a mission begins. I'm sure you've been collecting the materials found during the missions, right, Major? Of course I am. The lab can make new slug parts with the materials and info you find in each mission. When parts are completed, you can strengthen your slug by replacing existing parts with a new one. What? I'm supposed to do it? Of course! Customizing slugs for battle conditions according to frontline judgment is the key in giving you the advantage in the battle. So what am I supposed to do? You can develop new parts with laboratory and change parts with customize. And don't neglect customizing your slug routinely. I've busted my hump preparing this for you and everyone else. Everyone else? Hey, just who is everyone else? Gotta run! Signing off! Wait, who is this everyone else? Marco here. I've infiltrated the mine. Do you copy? Aikawa! Hmm, guess I can't reach her here. Major, do you copy? Major Rossi, Airy here. Airy, you're okay. Yeah, in a manner of speaking. Do you know what happened to Tarma and Fio? I'm not certain, but I'm sure that they're not out of the picture yet, right? Yeah, I guess so. By the way, where are you? Can you rendezvous with me? I've got things I want to check here underground. When I finish, I'll link up with you. Don't be too reckless. Don't worry. I'm more in control than a certain someone who insists on chasing Morton's forces all by himself. You're the one who should be watching your behind. Morton's forces got their hands on some wicked advanced technology. From Sir May Agma Enterprises, right? They're just helping with research. The source is someone else. The Morton goons call it Alator. Have you ascertained what this Alator really is? It appears that Morton's forces have borrowed Agma's help. They've transferred the Alator technology to weapons development. That's all I know for now. Is that so? If I get more intel, I'll contact you. Signing off. Damn! I guess I overdid it. Ah! What? The Falcon's Marco Rossi is still alive? Bah! The SV Project Laboratory and Falcon Special Forces are still in action. Looks like that Allen Clown has screwed up real good. Get those Ogma bozos here now! If you're looking for me, I've been waiting here. The remaining government forces have destroyed my secret factory! I've heard about them. Can the Falcons really be such a fearful opponent? Fearful? Are you implying I'm afraid of them? They're just noisy bugs that have foiled my ambitions one time too many. If that's so, it's time to destroy their hive and get them on the run. Oh, uh -huh, you've completed the missile then! Yes, and we've already prepared it for launch. We're just waiting for your orders. Then launch it immediately! The target is the SV Project Laboratory! <laughs> They've no way to stop this, do they? The leader. Considering the previous report, the Falcons may have intercepted our missile's orbit. I know, I know. I'll have Alan swat them down. It's not a big deal. Oh. 
Where am I now? Airy here. Quite a wild entrance, huh, Commander? Did you see me? Yep, me and Morden's thugs. So they've made me, have they? I guess I better get out of here. Nah, don't be so hasty. There's no rush. Morden's forces aren't free to move around either. So where the hell am I? As you can see, we're in some underground ruins. Come to think of it, I remember seeing this place in my school books. I was quite the little student, you know. Yeah, these ruins have certainly appeared in history books, but this doesn't appear much in human history. Hey, are you saying little green men from Mars built this? That would make it a lot easier to figure out. Ready for this, Major? According to carbon dating tests, these mines were built 8 billion years ago. Impossible. Earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago. It's got to be a mistake in the analysis. I know it's an anomaly, but there's no mistake with the carbon dating. Could it be these have something to do with that thing? Is it the basis for Morden's advanced technology? The Alator? No, I don't think these ruins in the Alator are related. Morden's forces don't seem to understand these ruins too well. Oh, brother. This is just a pack of mysteries, isn't it? That's right. All I know is we better stay on our toes here. You said it. We shouldn't waste any more time. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that perverse laugh. I knew you'd turn up, Marco Rossi. Alan O'Neill. Happy to see you again, but I don't have time for a leisurely reunion. It's almost time for a guest to arrive. Let me introduce you. Our army's new weapon, the Underground Cruise Missile. I'm sure I don't have to tell you its target. <laughs> the SV Project Laboratory? Bingo! You think I'll permit it? Attack! You won't lay a finger on it! All I have to do is stop that missile. Now you've really done it, Peregrine Falcon Scum! Your special forces squad has given me one major migraine, but it ends here! You plan to blow this place up? Yeah, I'll shoot you into the sky, just like a real Falcon! You think I'll let you? Blow this place! Oh! What? You! You're not one of us! Who are you? You just realized that? You really are a muscle head. You're... Even an officer like you should have known the faces of your own men, huh? Fire! Blow them away! Oh. <clears throat> Enough talk. So what's it gonna be? How about surrendering? <laughs> Me? Surrender? Just who do you think you're talking to, Tuts? No! Get down! I won't forget this. The next time we meet, we'll be the last! That guy's out of control. Man, muscle heads like him sure are hard to stop. Harry, are you alright? Yeah, I'm peachy. This place is going to collapse. We should get the heck out of here. Yeah, let's move out. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Oh, jeez. So what do we do now? We lost our objective, Morden. Major, Major Rossi. Marco here. Oh, wished you at last. Since we were cut off all of a sudden, I have been worried. Think about you. I've been underground all this time. I just got back to the surface. Is that so? If you go underground again, tell me first. I told you I was worried sick. I tried to reach you thousands of times. All I got was static. I, I can't get it out of my mind. It was like... Always the fluffy little chatterbox, aren't you? What? That voice has got to be... Harry? 
That's right. Why? The Major's colic? We just met up with each other. I was underground too. Is that so? By the way, listen up, Ari. You two really know how to abuse personnel. Material Division's half staff running around all alone, Major Rocky's got me gathering intel, and since they're developing new prototypes at the lab, the scientists have me walking the dog. Well, before we take any more action, let's go over the intel we've got so far. Good idea. And stay in sequence, will you? It looks like it all started when Morton got his hands on the Alator. So what is this Alator, anyway? I guess you could call it the unrivaled jewel of scientific achievement. So if he's got the Alator technology, he can make weapons far more advanced than anything we've got. Yep. And he acquired it ten years ago, while he was still a general with a government army. It seems that the discovery of this Alator reignited Morden's ambitions. But he wasn't able to use the power of the Alator to its full potential. And as a result of that, we've been able to suppress Morden's coup d'etat. Yep, but at the same time, Morden found a new backer. The founder of Surme Ogma Enterprises and present CEO, Mr. Ogma. He not only provided Morden with military funds, but their technology succeeded in analyzing the Alator. And Morden, obtaining this mighty military power, was able to wipe out the army. Let's get going, Ari. We don't have time to stand around here. Hold on. What are you saying we should do? Do you plan to walk from here? Uh, look over there. What? What's that shaking? Th that's the... The slug flyer! What's it doing here? We Paragon Falcons are always prepared. We've got points like this all over the world. Wow, that is nice! There's another one hidden over there. We'll use these to attack Morton's stronghold. Now? Are you mad? We should pull back and regroup! If we regroup our firepower, that'll give Morden the same opportunity. And what sort of strength will the army have if we try to regroup anyway? The more time we take, the less of an advantage we'll have. But it's just the two of us. Attacking the enemy base with no battle plan, that's just plain suicide. What are you talking about? Skill, experience, and luck are all on our side. Oh, jeez. Give me a break. You're just insane. I know it's a crazy plan. I can't make you come with me, so I guess I'll go it alone from here on in. Are you expecting me to run away while you march into the Maw of Death? That's a dumber plan than the other one. All right, you can add my skill, experience, and luck to your battle plan. Thanks. You're the best. I knew I could count on you. Some awesome weapon. So now you understand. Now you know just how strong Morton's forces are. Yep, I know it all too well. So what do you say we pull back and rethink our strategy? No way. What I understand is that we've got to defeat Morton fast. He's an opponent we're able to beat. So I guess you're saying there's no stopping now. Yes, there is. We're stopping Morden and his goons. Now let's move out! As I thought, the security around that base is tighter than a tourniquet. Do you think we can keep hidden and infiltrate the castle? Out of the question, a full frontal assault would be more realistic. Say, it's about time we came to the same conclusion. <laughs> yeah, right. I only said it would be more realistic. They made us? 
Wait. No, not yet. There can't be any other army forces here, can there? That's hoping for a little too much. I guess so. But this is our chance. You think? They sure seem to be running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Begin our attack. We're plowing through to the castle. Getting creamed this bad by those clowns? Talk about dropping the ball. Prepare the flying ship. We'll have to fall back for now. <gasps> Marco Rossi? Leader, leave everything to us. Back off. Get in my way and I'll forget you're a civilian. Morden, where's Morden? Looks like he got away. I just saw a flying ship take off. Damn. Aikawa, do you copy? Marco here. Aikawa here, go ahead. Can you follow that flying ship that took off from here? That's a big 10-4. I'm already on it. The flying ship Morden's on is currently over the ocean heading south. Destination unknown. Okay. Continue your pursuit. Don't let him see you. Understood. You can count on me. Eri, I'm asking you to arrange for a plane or a ship. I'll recover the slug. Got it. Enemy forces? Or just a common thief? Uh, Major? Tarma? Just what do you think you're doing? Why are you unpleased, my leader? My castle! Modifying it like that without telling me? Just who told you to do that? The leader, no one did. It's just something I prepared for an instance like this. I thought you would be pleased. Why, you... Are you making a monkey of me? On the contrary, I do everything to protect our leader. You and our organization's interests are linked as one. It appears you do not trust us. If you think so, then don't try to pull another stunt like that again, got me? Yes, leader. That explains it. I thought there was way too little resistance at the castle. Looks like you've been having a little fun without me, Tarma. You sure have. We became the decoys to keep the enemy off you. You probably just got busted, right? Put a sock in it. Everything went according to my plans. Yeah, yeah, right. Aikawa here. Excuse me, Major Rossi. I lost Morden near the South Pole. I think he landed somewhere. The South Pole, is it? If that's the case, I may know where they are. The army tried to build a base in the South Pole a long time ago. The plan was Deep Six Midway, but the guy directly in charge then was... The Devil Reborn himself, General Morton, I presume. <laughs> Give the man a prize! Do you know the location of that base? It's like the intel that I've seen says. Okay then, 
A little trip to the South Pole. Aikawa, fall back and prepare to refit the slugs. Roger! Damn! My Mariner's been totaled! How about you? Wipeout. I'm out of commission too. I'm still mobile, but we three can't ride together. Damn! Just when we're ready to box in Morden's goons. Hey you two, look over there. It's Morden's battleship! That old relic's still around? Oh, come on. You don't expect that'll move. I won't know till I try it out. Hold on there. You can't be serious. Never give up, no matter what you're faced with. That's the soldier's motto. You plan to sink Morden with that? What a sick joke. Say something, Captain. Yeah, never give up, no matter what you're faced with. The mark of a true action hero. I've had just about enough for you two. They're coming. Hey there! What's this? That voice. Fio! Oh, good! Everyone's all right! Hey, Fio, that's quite a thingamabob. Mind if I take it for a spin? No way, Corporal Rovi! You put the pedal to the metal and smash it up! Anyway, what's with that crate? I ripped it off of some of Morden's goons! Impressive! Did you do it all by yourself? Yep! Same as you guys did! Sorry to keep you waiting. Looks like the gang's all there. Can't keep me out of this action. We've been waiting for you. I guess I'll take this machine then. All the players are on the stage. All we need now is a little direction. Very well. Let the mission begin. The targets. Morton, the Devil Reborn, and his collaborator, Agma. I don't know what traps await at the South Pole, but it's up to us to stop them. So psych yourselves up and move it out! Yes, yes sir! sir. Peregrine Falcons reporting. Preparations for attack complete. Sparrow's here. We've succeeded in outflanking the enemy base. We're all set. Okay, the mission begins now. Target 1, capture Morton. Target 2, capture Agma. Target 3, secure the enemy base. That's it. Attack! Yes, sir. Here we go! Let's ventilate some bad guys. This is quite a research lab. My ace in the hole. If it weren't for things, you never would have seen this. A thousand pardons, Lady. But had you entrusted us with this research from the start, things wouldn't have come to this. Put a sock in it, Ogma. A civilian organization with a little advanced technology, and it all goes to your head. I can get out of a situation like this without your help. Look! This is... Alator. This is all of Alator. As long as I possess this, I will not know defeat! <laughs> the Alator. Dare I imagine I come this close. But with this... The jig's up, Morton. Be a good demon and surrender. Huh? How did you get past my forces? You underestimate us way too much. What is this? This is Alatorn. Ogma, can you open this door? It's been ten years since I found this, and I haven't been able to open that door. Use your vaunted technology and open that door. If I do open the door, what good will it do? Do you know if something's inside? Oh, just open the damn thing. Even if the end of the world is in there, just do it. How should I know? 
It's better than being taken by those clowns. Very well. But you'll have to buy me a little time. What are they diddling around with? Watching them squirm like that is so painful. Morden, give up your plans for world conquest. With a power like this at my fingertips, how can I abandon my ambitions? That's why you government army boobs are so incompetent. What are you talking about? I discovered the power of the Alador ten years ago. I found it when I was still a general of the government forces. When I came to examine the site for an army base here at the South Pole, then... He's trying to buy time. Everyone, attack! Take Morton down! But, hold on! Hold on there, freaks! You should listen to what I have to say! You can finish your stories from behind bars. I don't listen to yarn spun by two-bit criminals! You... Alan! <laughs> Come on, you clowns! I'll make mincemeat out of you! suppose is inside. Morden's secret weapon? Ah, uh, he's just bluffing. We'll get nowhere just babbling here. First, we four have got to break in there. Keep all of the other squads back here. Let's go. What are you going to do? Just who do you think I am? I know who you are. The Devil Reborn, General. The pathetic worm who runs amok, trying to reach the piddling goal of world conquest. You? You intend to betray me? You intended to take this Alator from me from the start, didn't you? Saying I will steal it is a mistake. What? You pathetic fool. You still don't get it. Don't you understand why we know the Alator so well? And why we can use it was ours to begin with. We knew you had found our lost Alator. And we joined forces with you simply to get it back. Looks like things are getting hairy. What do we do, Major? We're still on our mission. Take those two down. What now? Who are these freaks? It will take a little more time to act on this. May I have some questions? Oh, I'm so sorry to disturb you. Do you think your goons are gonna stop us? My, my. What a bunch of cretins you are. I could use a bit more firepower to stop you. But what about your comrades waiting outside? Damn. Hostages. You're one sneaky dude. If you'll just hang back, I will help. Resistance is futile. In the meantime, let me entertain you with a story until the preparations for my magnificent show are finished. What? A story? You gotta be kidding. Why not? I've got a few questions for him anyway. And he does seem to have the advantage. Who are you? Sir May Ogma is no mere corporation, is it? Right to the crux of the matter. You're such a hasty little girl, aren't you? Did you expect me to start talking about the weather? Very well. Let me tell you that. We are the Tuatha De Danon. We live in an age 300 million years in the past. Mysterious ancients who built an advanced civilization before the birth of humankind. You get right to the point, don't you? But by and large, you're correct. You're quite a wise young lady. Yeah, do 
I get a nice parting gift for that? Well, aren't we the lucky one? I suppose to historians, that would be the world of 300 million years ago. That's why we're here now. To bring back the historical information gathering device we placed here 300 million years ago. Back to our world of the past. I see. You wanted to study the history of war, and that's why you incited Morton to carry out his coup. Close, but no nice parting gift. In the span of these 300 million years, we searched for the information gathering device we lost. Consequently, war broke out. But the subject of our research is not such piddling events as war, you know. The necessary information for us is your evolution of 300 million years, from primitive to intelligent life, and the history of intelligent life that led to the flowering of civilization. Do you understand? Hold on. I understand that you came back to recover the history information, whatever the ancients placed here 300 million years ago. But that's a little strange. How can you say that this is the high point of our civilization? We may be able to develop a better civilization, or we may destroy ourselves. You could even say your primitive life reaching a state of intelligence was just a coincidence. It seems you already knew how things would turn out before you began your historical research. Naturally, we pretty much foresaw the shape of things to come. We've repeated this research hundreds of times before. What are you saying? Our research begins with a single trigger we created in the world 300 million years ago. And along with that span of time begun by that event, we also cause many circumstances and guide history toward an end we desire. It's like we plant a seed to grow a tree of history. Then we have the information gathering device observe that tree, which takes 300 million years to grow. And when the observation ends, we return the world to the way it was 300 million years ago, plant a new seed, and begin observations again. Return the world to the way it was? You mean... You mean you're gonna erase our history? Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. N no way! I don't want to be erased! Don't worry, my lady. It's a painless procedure, and we've recorded the 300 million year span of history to every detail. That's not what we're worried about. Get serious, Agma. Where do you get off pruning the branches of our history? That's it, Major. Give him a good tongue lashing. The history we've come to build, and the lives of all the people. Not only people, but 300 million years of all life. Just what do you think that is? Your views of life, your curious philosophy, intrigues me. Such a narrow point of view. That is the limit of your capabilities. Well, it looks like I'm all set. As I promised, I'll show you something really amazing. Our information gathering device, Lucas. Feast your eyes on the sight that will bring about the end of history. Wait! This time, things have turned out to be quite interesting. It was a pleasure meeting you all in the end. I bid you a fond farewell. Agma, it seems those four were drawn into the tower with you. Mm-hmm. Destiny seems to link us together. No doubt they'll get in our way. But whether we can stave them off with our firepower... I understand. 
use Morton's weapons. If they use the Alator technology, we can operate them as we please. Yes, sir. Well, it's a fight against time for now. It sure is ironic that after a span of 300 million years, it all boils down to seconds. What happened? We haven't disappeared yet, have we? It would seem as much, so we still have a chance. Wasn't the room we were in the information gathering device? The Alator is probably just a control device. It's got to be here somewhere. And that's where we'll find Ogma. Well, that makes things simple. Let's get cracking and kick some ancient butt. You said it. Move him out. What's the deal, Fio? You'll be left behind. It's no good. It's just no good. We can't win. Theo, we're up against the mysterious ancients. They've got capabilities beyond our imagination. If they don't plant their seed of time, our history will never begin. They're like gods, aren't they? Listen, Theo, these clowns are no gods. No matter how advanced they are, they're just people. The mistakes they've made are proof of that. For starters, there's those eight billion year old underground ruins. They're the product of people who lived a separate history. How can the ruins of a history that was supposed to be erased still remain? Yeah, and that Alator thing. Isn't it weird that Ogma lost track of it and it was partially destroyed by tectonic shifts? Wouldn't superior beings have been able to foresee and avoid stuff like that? What are you getting at? Maybe while they were repeating the same experiment over and over again, there's been a tear in the space-time continuum. And Ogma, in a situation that Ogma and the others couldn't have foreseen, has begun to happen. That's the weak point of the ancients. You got it. So, if we know their vulnerabilities, what's our plan? Believe in your own strength and never give up. And no matter what the circumstances, we act with cool judgment. And we always come out of things alive. That's it then. The same plan as ever. Same as always. What? You mean this is the same as always? <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's do this. Let's do it as we always do, Major. Okay, let's move out. Aikawa here. Does anyone copy? If you're listening, please respond. Marco here. We're in the enemy complex now. Judging from the inside of the structure, we're in some kind of tower. Do you copy? Yes, I copy that. It's a tower that just appeared at a point in the South Pole. A point in the South Pole? Were we transported that far? And I just heard a similar tower appeared simultaneously in the North Pole. Major, just what is going on? I'll spare the details until later. We don't have time for that now. We're about to go onto the roof of the tower. Deploy a slug there, will you? Yes, sir. It appears that the Lou of the North Pole has been activated, too. Yes, our Lugus device is synchronized with it. Do not neglect observation of the Lou. The Alator operating the Lou has already been destroyed. It's going amok. Yes, sir. We must hurry. That device has the instinct to gather all forms of information. The device running amok will be heading for the place in the world in which the most information is concentrated. Welcome, everyone. I didn't think we would meet again. What a pleasant surprise. What's this? This is the very core of the information gathering device, Lugus. The form that's absorbed 300 million years of history and grown. Are you telling me that you tried to erase our history for a thing like this? You were bound to destroy yourselves anyway. 
Why do you lament so? Bound to destroy ourselves? But then so are you, aren't you? Hmm. We're the beings born from the seeds you planted, not your descendants. So you ancients destroyed yourselves long before we ever did. Am I wrong? You do have a point there. We, the Danan, 290 million years ago, 10 million years from the time we lived, we became aware of this the first time we used Lucas, the observer of history that transcends time. How could that be? With a civilization like you had? No matter what civilization you create, or what glory it attains, one day the seed will die. The reason for death is simple. As a race, we self-destruct when we reach our final stage of evolution. Our lifespan becomes exhausted, but we are not bound to the same fate. To live and continue existing is the mission of those given life. That's why we began this research. We planted the seeds of history and observed the evolution of history with our information gathering device. We awoke after a long sleep at history's end to bring the device back to our age. We repeated this process to reveal the mystery of evolution again and again and again. But the results were always the same. Hold on there. If you say you destroy yourselves through too much evolution, why don't you just stop the process of evolution? You fool. How can you call it life if there is no evolution? Existence now as it was billions of years ago? You're no better than a rock. We desire eternal evolution. Limitless growth never leading to destruction. For that, I'll not hesitate to erase a hundred or two hundred lines of history. That's quite a pretext, but as you may have guessed, we're not going to let ourselves be erased so obediently. Yeah, you're not the boss of us. We don't want to be destroyed either, you know? Agma, you said the mission of life is to go on living. On that point, I agree. That's why we plan to live. By defeating you! You still refuse to become the cornerstone of our future? And in doing so, have selected a painful death by refusing to erase you? Then so be it. No, you are but powerless seeds, doomed to your own destruction while you suffer your own deaths. Lugus, let your final record be that of these fools' deaths. Could it be? Lugus? Lugus has been absorbed by the Lu? Agma, not only have we lost the historical data, we can no longer go back. It looks like our only option is to seize control of the Lu. The information should still remain here inside. Get anyone who can move and get them to the roof. I'm placing everything under the control of the Lu. What about those four meddlers? Let them be. They can't do anything. Hey, what's this then? Just what's going on? It looks like there was still another device lying around. Did it swallow up the first one? A division among the ranks, is it? It looks like the one that came later is running amok. This is no time for cool analysis. We better beat it. No, we don't know what'll happen if we leave it like this. We have to destroy it. Aw oh man, I knew you'd say that. It's tough being the hero. What are you going to do? This one looks much tougher than the other one. But the odds are surely with us. Why? Because we've got the skill, the experience, and the luck to do it. 
Aikawa here. Please respond. Is everyone all right? Marco here. We're all operational. It seems like we've been sucked into the belly of the beast. So the inside's hollow, is it? You got it. Wait a while outside for us. We're gonna bring this sucker down and fly out of here. Got it. Beginning enforced deployment of the slug now. Use it well. Hold on. Enforced deployment? No, Rumi, don't be insane. Here I come. Woo! Aikawa, do you read me? Aikawa! Look! We did it! Take that, suckers! The dome is beginning to crumble! Fall back! Fall back? Where are we gonna escape to on top of this tower? It seems like the whole tower is beginning to go! It looks like our luck's run out. I don't think so. The goddess of luck herself is here! And a mighty brave goddess at that. Let's go, guys! Get on, quick! What are you waiting for, Major? Get going! Don't give up. It's not over yet. I know I can control this thing. Agma, let's go! Get yourself and your pals onto the helicopter now! Major! Quiet! Don't try to stop us. We've got to bring this back. We can't let the Tuatha Dinanam die out. Agma, do you really want to die? You can't stop the collapse! You morons! Do you still not realize the true meaning of life? Eternal evolution! Limitless growth! I've devoted my life to these beliefs! You're the idiot! How can you boast of life if you don't value your own? Come with us now! Never! Agma! You're pushing the limit, Corporal! Get Major Rossi onto the helicopter! Let's get going! Live, Agma! Live! Agma! Live!
Oh, uh, I, I'm so sorry. Hey, you're... I knew it. Our race cannot escape its fated annihilation. But you may be able to find a solution. Wait. I bequeath this to you. The life of the Tuatha de Danann, those who are to go on living, should inherit this. They're coming. Hey there! What's this? That voice. Fio! Yippee! Mission complete! Mission complete! <laughs> 